Powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES. I'm Aaron Baker from Techno Buffalo, and make no doubt about it, there's room in the market for a third and even fourth mobile OS. We've got Windows Phone coming in in third place, then we've got kind of a competitive battle between BlackBerry and then Ubuntu as well, which was kind of shown off a couple of days ago. Admittedly, I was traveling and actually at work in Irvine, so I didn't get a chance to catch up on it as much as I'd like to, but I'll tell you one thing is for sure. There's room for it, a lot of different opportunities for mobile operating systems. Let's take a look and see what makes it great as opposed to some of the other OS's on the market. Over here we see Ubuntu running on a phone. It's basically the same Ubuntu as uh, running on desktop or TV, just with a new interface completely optimized for the phone. What you see over here basically is, uh, this is the welcome screen. It has a visualization of your personal data in a really nice way. It gives a very personal touch to your phone uh, because it will be a visualization unique to everybody. The other important thing is, uh, what you see over here is there are no buttons. There are no hard key buttons and no software key buttons. And basically the reason is that uh, the whole experience is designed around the edges. So the user will interact with the edges, uh, and it gives a very fast and natural way to interact with the phone. When I would use the left edge, you see that um, there's a launcher with my most uh, favorite apps. What we, uh, for example, noticed was that uh, people I use a selection of apps most frequently, and they can put it in the launcher over here. So for example, when I go to the bottom one, this is the home button, and I can basically go to uh, the home screen. This is the home screen. Uh, over here you see my frequently used apps, uh, my last calls, um, uh, also some content that I'm, uh, that I'm interested in. When I go uh, left, I see my people, and it's aggregated a few of my contacts and Facebook contacts. And over here, my music, and also music I can buy. And when I go to the other direction, there's my apps, my running apps, uh, my frequently used apps, uh, installed apps. And also over here, I have my videos, and also videos I can buy or download, basically. Over here in the launcher, you see that we both have uh, web apps, which is, for example, Facebook is a web app. It uses all core components of the operating system as well. The advantage of Ubuntu is that it uses the advantage of having all the web apps that are possible in a very integrated way, but also we can run native apps. This is the gallery app, and what you see over here is that we focus the screen on the content rather than on the controls in order to interact with the content. So when I start scrolling, you see that the header goes away. When I scroll back, the header is there again. I can change the view. Another thing that we saw basically was that sometimes when users are using apps, they want to change the setting. We have a very new and a very easy way to change settings. So that's what the, the top edge does. So over here, I drag down and I can uh, swipe left and right and basically immediately go to a settings menu. So for example, I can go to battery over here, swipe back up, and I'm back in my app again. Or for example, we also have messages here. I go to the messages, I can reply immediately. Opening a picture over here, um, again, the full screen dedicated to the, the photo. Uh, and when I want to do something with the photo, I use the bottom edge for that. So the bottom edge brings in control. So I can, for example, edit, or I can, for example, share, uh, or, or, or basically go back. The last uh, edge, the right edge, is basically for switching between apps super fast. Uh, what we saw is that people often switch between the last two or three apps. Take a picture, for example. Uh, I want to go back to my previous app. There you go. And there's a picture in my gallery. I want to don't want to use it, bottom edge swipe, delete. There you go, I want to go back to uh, another previous app, right? Music player, go to the, the camera again. If I want to launch the app, I can also use the launcher again. That's the Ubuntu phone. Ubuntu in a nutshell. Exactly, Perfect. exactly. Thank you so much. Thank You're you welcome. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.